but they said they said I'm living in the past. <laughs> that matchup was so so rough, so rough. But here we go. Both of these players gonna ease into game number one. We're gonna have a very interesting matchup and a plethora of interesting characters here. And we are probably gonna head into Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium. Let's go ahead and run it like Sinatra said. Alrighty, it's time, yo. As this match kicks off right here, Greninja wasting little to no time to show where he is coming from, how they're moving. I'm looking for my meter, and then I'm here to interact, okay? Yeah, especially against Peach, you know, you definitely want to get that meter on deck, want to tack on as much percent as you can, because Peach definitely capitalizes off keeping on keeping uh, Cloud off stage and getting him off stage. You know, Peach combos take you hella ways, eat hella percent, and then you're just off stage, and this Cloud, you definitely do not want to be there unless you have limit, and even then, yeah, and even then, sometimes it still ain't enough. I mean, we've seen just the danger of oh, Peach sitting great. at the ledge with down there, but you know what, though? The runoff limit cross slash is going to get it done in a major way. Kreninja right now getting real stealthy with the mechanics. I love it. Yeah, of course. And here we go. This is the, like we said, we've been talking about matchups this whole time. This is definitely a matchup that is pretty good for Cloud, but oh my god, that was almost very really risky. And here we go. Cloud uh -oh. can be good. We're going to see how much extra credit right now Kreninja can get. Now, we talked about the importance of Cloud staying on stage. Keep in mind, Zelda spikes spikes no matter how it hits. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's just the down air. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, no down oh, air no needed. No down air needed, yeah. So I got I keep the flame on me. You better watch yourself. <laughs> I got that thing on me. I keep that thing on me, too, she said. Okay, I don't need Link. I can get it done. It's I 2022. Got, I got the burner, but oh. he got the burner with that punch right there. Going to be able to get the two frame with the F smash. Clean stuff indeed here. Great precision. Of course, not the easiest thing in the world to try to tilt that F smash and space it properly so it lands correctly. So, yeah. needless to say, though, Kreninja has this lead and not looking to let go and relinquish it at all. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Great extension right there, using the platform for the upper to get another nair off of it. And right now, Kreninja off stage, but still Sonic, very, very good recovery to get back onto stage. Unless you take that jump mm -hmm. and you run that side, that side B. Talk to him, man. Mm -hmm. But here we go. Just going to be able to keep Gelato in disadvantage. And great advantage state right now coming from Kreninja. Okay, up tilt, clean. Oh, my goodness. That was big. Okay, and I'm loving this dash attack. This is looking really good oh right now. The God. back air should be enough to do it. Yes, sir. Wow, Kreninja taking no prisoners here. <laughs> no prisoners right there. That game... He was scrapping. You know how we was talking about, like, you know, Sonic, you know, whoa, Sonic. But he was scrapping with that Sonic. Bro. Oh, 100%, man. Let's <laughs> he pick was... at these replays. At least I am young, scrappy, and hungry indeed. Back air. Back air. Ow. Back air for back air. Yeah, great, Ooh. great exhibition right there from Kreninja. Also, definitely a favorable matchup to start it off. You know, Peach, Peach may hate playing against Cloud. Yeah, you know, I think Cloud and Peach both screw each other up really well. I think, obviously, Cloud maybe just a little bit more because the majority of the match is going to stay on stage. But that one second that Cloud finds his ass off stage, mm -hmm. Peach is on him. Yes, so. sir. Love the back airs. And, of course, I love this little conversion here, too. The fake out. I know you ain't trying to recover to my legs. Hold that. <laughs> you look hungry. Have a knuckle sandwich. Duffed. All righty. All right, but you can tell by the music that we are going to either Smashville or Town and City to start off this game number two. And Gelato thinking real real hard about this counter pick, but not going to counter pick any characters. But here we go, same characters as game number one. Probably going to be a different order. I think so. Oh, wait. Yeah, actually, we, uh, uh, we didn't get to see the, the, the Joker, so I was like, wait, did he play Joker lots? But he did. Mm. He did. Mm. Here we go. Now it's whether or not we're going to be on Town of City or Smashville, and we are going to Smashville. Uh, 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 this song is a utter uh, uh, banger, bro. Uh, 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 the songs just kind of get ingrained into your brain, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> after commentating them for so long. So long. So long. Or just long. playing on the stage, you know. You just, like That random is set on, you know, you're either listening to this, KK Slider, the intro. <laughs> KK got some bangers. KK got, yo, KK be chefing it up in the studio, bro. We got to save it for tomorrow. <laughs> I know KK's coming through on the Saturday. <laughs> Alrighty, friends, let's go ahead and jump into this one right here. Now, Kreninja, of course, not with the most commanding lead in the world. Gelato playing a little bit more safe right now, and I like it. Fortunately, they're losing one of the stocks earlier to Sonic. Actually, a couple stocks for Sonic in a big way, so a little mindful of the blue blur. Yeah, definitely a good counter pick right here. Definitely looking to see, uh, starting like starting to look a little bit more comfortable in this matchup. 
Gonna get the back throw to get off stage. And right here, this is where we're gonna see Kreninja go for an edge guard, but great recovery right there. But great coverage as well with the back air. And here we go. Uh-oh, back throw Ooh. should do it. That's right. A lot of booty in that dress right there from Pete. Yo, Pete's be slinging hella ass. Yo, man. <laughs> I said, hey, yo. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. yo. All righty. <laughs> Zelda back into the fray right now, looking to mix things up. Now, Zelda has a little sauce on her, too. She ain't the most, like, explosive character in the world, but when she gets her stuff going, she becomes pretty impossible to deal with. I love her, like, down throw, nair mix-up, down throw, up air, up throw, up air. You know, she got, she got a little kung fu on her. And she got a couple kill throws on her, too. She, yo, them, them RNG slanging people. Up throw is a kill throw. Back throw at the ledge is definitely a kill throw. Oh, but here we go. Kreninja definitely stacking on this damage, trying to get as much extra credit as he can, but getting a little antsy with the offstage and the up B, still going to be able to clip. Okay, back row is clean right <laughs> <just> now. <laughs> dropped off the spawn platform. He was like, I'm in there. <laughs> there it is, man. Where, where are we going with it? <laughs> I'm in there. I'm in there. What's up? <laughs> what you got for me? Okay. Oh, I love that up tilt. Now, I sometimes forget how dangerous up tilt is in a lot of matchups. Mm -hmm. You try to jump around her, up tilt catches you. It's from up tilt. That's right. Then you get hit with Nair. You get hit with a whole bunch of other really messed up stuff. So, I'm telling you, you got to watch yourself out here versus Zelda. She's Ooh. not. She ain't free. All right. She is not free. But that up smash out of shield was looking pretty free. Oh, but this side B. Not going to be able to close out the stock, but setting up for a great position. Ooh. Oh, that was very smart yeah, to use the landing smart. hitbox. And they go back on stage, too. You don't want to be off stage against Rob. Especially his cloud too, you know. He's right now. This Kreninja is in the perfect, perfect prime position. There you go. Going to get the forwarder into the side B. Good damage right here to stack up some percentage. Uh oh. Okay, the clean back air barrage. That's right. Got to space properly right now. Getting the job done here in a big way. Gelato. Oh, you do not want to be here. Oh, oh, great counter action right there oh, with the neutral B. Shoot. Oh, and gonna be able to land hey, on stage. Yo. yo. Yo, bing bong indeed, my friend. Wow. <laughs> wow. If you see these dogs in the yard, just know upstairs I'm going hard. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> As you can see right there, Kreninja was definitely going hard right there in that last game. Clean yeah, stuff. Yeah, for Purdy's sure. Purdy's replay. Yeah, that was, that was a great way to just counteract the gyro and the hitbox and just sneakily going around it, too. Now, even though he hit the hitbox of the gyro with neutral special, that was still active was, and still could have hit him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was very smart to like even wait out that and then get up underneath it and then up B. I mean, you had like frames yeah. to do. That had to be frame perfect. Literally frame perfect. And then, yes, once more, I love this, getting her yeah, off of her feet. The, the mileage with the Sonic was just impeccable right here. I mean, if there was ever a character to close out some distance canonically, it should be Sonic the Hedgehog. However, <laughs> Zelda was able to do it without Link there. Clean stuff. Goodbye, Tiger Woods PGA. That's right. Hit him with the Tiger Woods PGA golf swing right there on the up smash. Clean stuff from both of those two competitors. Yeah, unfortunately for Gelato right there, the last 